Sunday morning and the sun is on the rise. Got a beautiful sunrise over in the east on my left hand. Cowboy Roy Rogers here reminding to stay aware and prepared. Tensions are also on the rise as you've seen. Please don't be misled. Make sure to seek the truth in all things. A lot of false narratives out there, a lot of psychological operations, especially through the mainstream platforms that are fed information directly out of government organizations that aren't exactly there for we the people. Make sure you have the means to have plenty of water ways to purify and sanitize it. Learn how to forage for wild edibles and medicinals. Learn how to garden and grow microgreens and so forth. Learn multiple forms of survival, especially for cold weather. Or if there's any form of attack against your home, community, or your state, the country. Make sure to keep your faith and your righteous works. Faith without works is nil. It's dead. It's useless. According to the word that is written, as well as works without faith is the same way. Good deeds don't get you where you want to go. Stick to Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Pray to His Father, Yahweh, Jehovah God. In the name of Yeshua, Help out your neighbors, communities, by at least informing them and helping them gain the knowledge that you have. You see, if other people understand what they need to do and start learning how to do it, they prepare themselves, they stock up in all necessities like you've been doing, then when the fertilizer spreader is engaged and the manure starts flying everywhere, it's less likely for them all to be lined up at your door because they already know what to do. So don't tell everybody what you got. Instead, promote that they get their own. Take care of yourselves, your loved ones. Check on the elderly. Disabled, look out for one another, and strongly prepare for strong, severe winter weather as much as you can, because that is a much greater threat than any warm weather. Remember, you can survive for three minutes without shelter in severe cold and freezing wet weather. Same for extreme heat with no shade. You can survive, or excuse me, three hours. Three hours without shelter. Three days without water. But after the first day without water, it's going to get rough. And up to three weeks without food, kitchen force will be rough also. Make sure you have ways to catch water. If nothing else, a bread sack, a, a darn Ziploc bag, something clean that you can catch water in. Not only have ways to filter it, but learn 
how to make your own filtration systems. On this Cowboy Roy Rogers YouTube channel, on Green Grids, on Uncommon News 777, we all try to provide that information. So I've got extensive playlists by other people to help you all. And I try to refer back to them myself once in a while in case I don't remember something. So if you're looking for information, scroll through there and it might just help you. And if it'll help someone else, please share it. Have a blessed day.